Hi, I'm George, and in this Photoshop Elements Blend Two Images Together project, we'll be blending this model image into this photograph of a lion. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. Check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop Elements projects. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. This project is made up of two images and they're blended together right through the middle right in here and a couple other little tricks tossed on top of that. Let's just get this out of the way and I'll bring those pictures up. There's the main background image. It's just this picture of this lion right here. And then also I have this picture over here of the model. Now to do this, you want to have floating windows active and that's easy to do. Just go up here to edit menu, come down to preferences and general and right there where it says allow floating documents in expert mode, make sure that is checked. It's not by default, so let's check that, choose OK, and you now have floating documents. Now, we can just grab this background layer and drag it over here on top of that lion image. Okay, so I have these two pictures now in the same project. We'll want her over here someplace, you know, kind of about like that. We'll adjust a little bit later, but over here someplace. Now, to really get our position right, it's easy to do. Just go up here to opacity, put it down about halfway or so, and you can then position things right where you want them. Now I also want to move the lion further to the right hand side. You put this back to full opacity. I'll hide her just for a minute. Now this is just a background layer, so right click, choose duplicate layer. There we go, hide that background. We can now move this layer over here. So somewhere over here is pretty good. Now this white spot over here, this transparent area, this is going to be hidden by the picture of the model on that side. So that doesn't matter. I just want to get the lion's face away from the edge of her side right there. And I think we've done a pretty good job on that. We can still, of course, come back in and adjust later if we need to. Now behind the lion, I want to have another layer right back down here. Let's just go up here to Layer, come down to New Fill Layer and Solid Color. And then in here, choose OK. And then click in the middle someplace and drag bottom left hand corner. If you're not seeing black up here already, you probably are. Choose OK. And that's now just a solid black layer. You can see it over here, left hand side, just solid black. OK, that's fine. Let's go back to the lion. We now need to remove the color from the lion layer. And we'll do that up here under the enhance. Coming down to convert to black and white. And I'll use the portrait setting, which gives us a nice gradient range in here. Choose OK. There we go, black and white lion. We can now bring our model back in again, and let's do the blend between these two images. And the blend happens on the model layer. She's the top layer. Go up here to this button. This is the Add Layer Mask button. Now on a layer mask, white shows, black hides. So if I have black over here, it's going to hide this edge. If it's white over here, it's going to show the model. All we need to do is to put a little short gradient right in here from black to white, and that will then blend this picture into the picture in behind. So for that, make sure that your colors are at their defaults. So that's black in front, white in the background. Go up here to the Gradient tool. Come down here to the Gradients. I have mine set at the first gradient right there. This is the default foreground to background. Or just click on that arrow, and you'll see it right there. Grab the furthest left gradient. That's the linear gradient. And my opacity is set at 100. Now, wherever I start the gradient, it's going to be black, because black is the beginning of our gradient. If I pull to the left, it's going to go to white on the left-hand side. So I'll go right here just inside the edge of her picture. And then holding down the Shift key, I'll pull straight to the left, just a little ways inside of her figure, just about like that, and let go. And that then puts that gradient on that layer mask, and that blends those two pictures together. They just kind of subtly blend right together. Okay, that looks fine. So we're getting pretty good. Now, I don't want the lion as solid as this or as bright as this. So we need to darken the lion down. And that's part of the reason for that black layer in behind. I'm just going to bring the opacity down on the lion. And we can control how bright the lion is. I want the lion to be kind of a secondary read. I want to see the model first and then see the lion second. And that looks pretty good. About 50, let's say 55%, I think, be pretty good on that. Now the line is just a straight black and white. There's no color in here. The actual background has some colors, kind of a cyan-ish kind of a color in there. So we'll be adding in some color into the lion just a little bit to help blend the lion into that other background. So it feels like it's all one piece back there. Now for that, go up here to the layer menu, come down to new adjustment layer, 
and photo filter right there. Where it says use previous there to create clipping mask, just check that, choose OK. You can see already the line has gone a little bit orange. That's the default filter in here. Now this is kind of a cyan, so I know that's the right color to use, and that's right down there. There's that cyan. You can adjust how much color with this slider control right here. And I want just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit of color in there, maybe about like that. Looks pretty good. And then close that down. And there we go. We've now blended this first image into the second image. And again, a few other tricks in there just to help make the whole thing work as one nice combined photo. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And of course, check out my channel. And also, if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, all the tools, all the menus, everything, take a look at my complete training course. And again, that link for that is right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.